nerdrotic.com. Thank you, Logan, and welcome back to the Nerd Rotic Podcast. My name is Gary Beekler. I come to you from nerdrotic.com, and I am live in San Francisco, California, and down in San Diego is our co-host and my good friend, Dennis Bethalkas. What is up, Dennis? Not so much. How you doing? I am great. And again, and for the final time, at least until next year, we're talking about The Tick. Yes. Uh, this has been such a great show. Can't say anything bad about it. You know, the people might find this boring, but it's this is a love fest. By the way, this is episode six, uh, Rising. Yes, rising. We have uh, The Tick, Arthur, and Overkill, and Danger Boat. Uh, they uh, take Ramsey back, and they're going to interrogate him. And we ended all also on a cliffhanger with Miss Lint having the terror in her uh, powder boudoir. room. Yeah, her boudoir. You know, with uh, with a nice set of gold teeth. Um, and now, what a way to end that episode. And we we start off with Superion uh, conf- confronting the VLM, the very large man. And I guess he's too big to hear anything, and he looks dazed. You know, he looks like he's on like lithium or something like that. I don't know. Yeah. So the um, uh, superior has to make a sign saying, you are too big. <laughs> and he goes, huh? Yeah. Basically doing the love actually kind of thing where he's got the big uh, cue yes. card. You know, <laughs> and then the shot of the general looking up, you know, covering up his Junk. very, very his, his other VLM, his very yes. large member. Jumped up, Jesus Christ. So he uh, superior notices that the military is down there. So he goes down. And we have uh, the Tick, of course, uh, doing a voiceover, uh, basically going, you know, superheroes are people too. You know, we put our super suits on one leg at a time. We look both ways before we leave. Superior goes down and he confronts the general. He basically tells her to F off, you know. Yeah, uh, he's, he's, a, he's a citizen and he's going to protect the citizens. And- yeah. And he looks really irritated. Uh, even earlier in the episode, we've only been getting like little bits of the superior thing. They've been like spreading it out throughout the the six episodes and they actually don't have a follow-up this episode to this scene which i was kind no. of yeah that you know that was something i wish they would have gone back to um and this was i believe the shortest episode it was only 22 minutes long but so much happened they they pack it in again you know not to base on preacher too much but they could really learn yeah <laughs> from bed Edlin on storytelling as a matter of fact he would be great on the preacher uh there you go seth rogan you're probably buddies with ben Edlin. come on so, uh, yeah, he looks irritated, and he has an assistant there, and uh, he's drinking some well, coffee. Well, it's not an assistant. It's actually uh, the guy from EHSPN. E- EHSPN. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he's supposed to be not. doing an interview. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. I did not even catch that part. And uh, he drinks the coffee. all oh, this coffee tastes like cancer. You know, ugh, that tastes like getting. cancer. And uh, the, the guy from EHSPN, because uh, he notices that Superior is grabbing his head, head there, and he's like, do you have a headache? You never get headaches because, yeah, it's kind of weird. So that's our first indication that something might be wrong with Superior. After that uh, that taste of coffee, too, he uses his eye rays on both of their coffee cups. And the guy tasting goes, mmm, pumpkin spice. How do you do that? <laughs> I know. <laughs> That's so crazy. And it just kind of leads in to what has been going on this episode a little bit. And you, you, you know, you get the feeling, but uh, do you th- I'm thinking mystery men. Every time I see this, I'm just thinking mystery men the whole yeah. time. Like this yeah. guy's going to have a really horrible, horrible death. Um, and we, we've seen, you know, how the terror does people in the past. I, and again, that was just gruesome. What he did to the, um, the flag five, uh, mm-hmm. you know, syphilising out their Weaponized eyes syphilis, uh, yes. Weaponized syphilis tick overkill danger boat and arthur start interrogating ramses um and you know the tick is not wanting to be there at all he's always yeah. gonna make a murder salad out of this guy <laughs> um and no, he uh, was uh, overkill wants to make a murder salad over your hero's journey <laughs> he's interrupting the hero's journey yeah overkill gives ramsey uh some drugs and uh it's a shot of sodium amber theosin <laughs> amber theosin <laughs> <laughs> which i when i first heard it you know because i've watched this episode now like three times it made me laugh it makes me laugh every time i hear it it's just you know a sh- and then ramsey starts kind of going in and out like oh like this he goes he should be okay. Well, wait, he's a little bit loopier than usual. So are you on any, like, and he starts rattling off all these drugs, like, um, you know, any kind of uh, allergy medication, that, and then finally goes Viagra. And Ramsey goes, 
Uh, he goes, well, he might have some adverse effects. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Once he starts saying he's all, well, there's the cook-off this afternoon, and Mother's going to be very nervous. <laughs> <laughs> I guy has a little bit of a side effect there. And, um, oh, what, what did the tick say? He's pumping um, this shaver full of crazy juice. Yeah, Jiminy Christmas. He's pumped that shaver full of crazy juice. <laughs> oh, yeah. And as soon as he gets it, uh, Ramsey's all, oh, I've got meningitis. I know I've got it. Uh, <laughs> I can feel it. Yeah. They started interrogating, um, the Ramsey's. And finally, they, you know, he goes, Where's the terror? The terror is in everyone's heart. Hearts. No, no. <laughs> the terror. Oh, the terror. He's over at the Sacred Mother of uh, Infinite, Infinite Misery Church. <laughs> <laughs> He's really He's dug in. Deep. Yeah. <laughs> at this point, we cut back to the terror in Miss Lint. And, you know, dude, for six episodes, she's been able to pull off just on the verge of complete rage. And it's so fucking funny every time. It just just her mannerisms. I can't even, you know, I can't even explain. You, if you haven't watched it, I don't even know why you're watching us. Go and watch this. She's actually the funniest thing in this entire show. Yeah. Um, and of course, it, it's a it's it's almost like an abuser relationship. You know, it, it, not that he's abusing her, but you could tell that she loves him. And, you know, he likes her, he respects her, but I mean, she's just another thing to him. Yeah. She's uh, and, she's a henchman. She's another henchman. He's just all. a henchman who happened to fall in love with the terror. You yeah. know, and and he's like, you know, you can't be mad at me. You're mad at yourself. <laughs> you, know, you should have known I'm too smart to die. You know, <laughs> he goes, I thought within that first year you would have just fried Ramsey straight to his throne. <laughs> Instead, you sat there and took it. Yeah, uh, and she, she's like, all I had to do was kill Ramsey. <laughs> you know, it's like you're evil incarnate, woman. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, he starts explaining to uh, Janet why he faked his death. He was like, you know, I needed some room to to branch out, to grow. And uh, so there she goes, but we saw, you know, Superior and take your spire into the ground and destroy it. He goes, lies, deception. He goes, we found your teeth. I'm pretty handy with a plier when I need to be. <laughs> yep. And he's got the gold grill. And I love how they're just having this conversation like Janet. So Janet, or, you know, you Miss Lynn's name is Janet. <laughs> and and they keep cutting back and forth between this and the interrogation on, on danger boat. Uh, yep. Ramsey's. And um, the, the one thing that I thought was funny that Ben Adler, I'm pretty sure thought was funny too. That's why they added it in twice was the, uh, we're taking Ramsey's to Aegis. Which yeah. sounds like they're taking <laughs> Ramses to Egypt, <laughs> yep. and they said it twice, and I'm like, okay, yeah, it wasn't that funny, but you know, I'll give it to you. You know, yeah, you're okay, it twice. Yeah, ten points for trying, but yeah. uh, you didn't really land it there. And uh, Overkill and the Tick are kind of arguing. You know, Overkill's like, this is your, you know, they both feel like this is Arthur's time, and they're trying to pump him up. But like, we have the Punisher point of view. It's like it's your time to spill blood, and the Tick's all, no, Arthur, it's your time for justice. And well, not only like, that. Yeah, and and Overkill's trying to convince Arthur just to basically kill Ramsey's. Yeah, right there. Terror. And uh, finally, you know, Arthur is saying, he, you know, this is mine. I, I did all the file work. You know, I found all this this stuff. It's mine. I need to do this my way. And I believe, uh, what is it? Overkill has one of the best lines. Because We're taking Ramsey's to Aegis. Aegis? Yeah. Those stapler fondling bureaucrats? Yeah. They'll drown you in red tape. They'll file your file under. Where the fuck is that fucking file? And the way he fucking... <laughs> fucking hilarious. Yeah. I laughed my... That was probably the biggest laugh I had for the series, dude. Yeah, he oh, did a really God. nice job. And then we finally find out who Derek is. Uh, <laughs> Janet's ex-husband, who uh, the, the terror... Get surprised by Derek because Derek he's drinking uh, the almond milk out of the ref- out of the refrigerator. The terror is he goes, "Do you drink this?" She goes, "No, no, that's not mine." He goes, "Good, because it's awful." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and puts it down, and then Derek comes in and goes, "Are you drinking my almond?" And the terror just automatically sw- whips around and throws a couple darts and hits <laughs> hits Derek twice, and then also once in the milk carton. And he goes, <laughs> "Is that hey. Derek?" IT Derek, the Derek that set up the Wi-Fi in my old lair, Derek. <laughs> it's my ex-husband. <laughs> it was a bad time for me. <laughs> and of course, oh. the uh, the darts are laced with platypus venom. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he'll seizure that out. Look, he's foaming. It's okay. <laughs> so yeah. And before that, um, the terrorist said, "You know, Janet, I was watching your every move." And then, uh, you know, then he was surprised about Derek, and she's like, "Oh, hey, wait a minute." 
I thought you said you were watching my every move. And he's all, well, you got so boring, boring. so fast. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I love his, his hench women. They, they all like, they got little Deadpool outfits on. But it, uh, they I'm got the little cool tees. And, and they look like, almost like ninjas in a way. Yeah, they do look like ninjas. Uh, do you think it'll be Janet the ninja and Susan the ninja? <laughs> It might be. That would it might be. Oh be. my god! It was like Brittany the ninja and Dakota the ninja. That would be better. <laughs> and and I love how he's describing what he was doing with his you know downtime there and uh, oh all the, all the, play the drums <laughs> <laughs> two two new menudos <laughs> oh and I've been killing the bees <laughs> and Janet goes move right <laughs> you're right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot that. Yeah, that was. <laughs> Which harkens back to our first episode. Yeah. We're on TV. We're we're hearing about the bees dying, and that was because of the terror. No, and especially as much as we've seen this, it's it, and it's easy to watch this show. Not just because it's good; it's short, so you can watch it over and over again. And the laughs are, like you said, they hold up so well. But this show is so tight, man. Like they they refer to everything. It's it's like you know what, and I think. Didn't we talk about this in the first podcast? It's the length of a comic book. Yeah, it you know, is if, the length of a comic if book. A page of if a page uh, equals a, a minute dialogue, of screen yeah. time. Yeah, it's 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 pretty much a comic book, uh, which is genius. So, yeah. So, um, Arthur takes uh, Rams oh, um, before he goes. Before he does that, they're they're still talking uh, the terror and Janet, and he says he finally figured out that. Oh yeah, what yeah. the supervillain thing is going to do, and all we under all we know is that it's the best worst thing ever. <laughs> yes, <laughs> and he, what did he say? He's like, you know, I've got my beat, I've got my melody, or something like that. I just don't yeah, have, goes, I don't, I don't have, have, have it all together hook. yet. Yeah, I don't it have goes yet or something. It's like a song. I've got the beat, I've got the melody, but I I don't have the lyrics yet. <laughs> yep, yep. So uh, you could see that he's already started this plan, and this harkens back to what's going on with Superion. So so the terror has already started doing what he's going to do um so we cut back to arthur and the tick and they're taking ramses to aegis and they find out that aegis which is the shield of this world is closed uh for business because there's no superheroes in the city uh the flag five are gone and they have you know it looks like a very expensive building so they're gone um yeah. and uh, the tick and arthur start you know arguing and uh ramsey's uh gets away um and there was a hawk dog vendor now do you think he was that was kind of spying on him that was ramsey's guy right or was that yeah. terror's guy uh it could be either or yeah at the moment so but, uh, um we do see the pyramid gang to the pyramid gang in a truck across the street and they're eyeballing you know ramsey's and, and the tick basically drops ramsey's because ramsey said can i sit down if you guys you know, you're gonna be long because uh uh, Arthur also is making a phone call or getting a phone call from Dot. So he goes, sure. So he drops them, and that's when uh, Ram, uh, the Pyramid Gang guys take out a grenade launcher <laughs> and shoot the tick, basically hit him in the chest. And he goes flying back. He's like, ow, that hurt. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the fight ensues, and Ramses gets away by uh, shooting him where it hurts. I'm going to shoot him in the civilian and yep. uh, he takes out a bus bus full of civilians and of course they have to let Ramsey's go and uh, Arthur and Tick uh, go into action it's our second movie reference by the way that's Superman 2 uh, yes it is it, it very <laughs> much is yes good old yeah oh man that's been on that brain the old, good old yeah. Super Don or Superman uh, so yeah so Arthur and Tick uh, off to the rescue uh, the Tick has to hold the bus while Arthur goes in and gets everybody out and of course one lady gets out and her baby's in there so Arthur has to go get the baby Arthur you can see has got a command of the suit now he's starting to to use the visual things with it um, and he's looking for the baby and he sees uh, the baby the little baby carrier, cha carrier and it grabs it uh, just as the bus falls down, of course, and uh, the tick thought, you know, he dropped poor Arthur. And then, you know, dramatic fashion, Arthur flies up with the little baby carrier. Of course, everybody's filming it. And he gets back down, and uh, that's a very interesting child you have there. Uh, <laughs> the child is a dog. But, yes. uh, you know, in, uh, in well, I, they're in the city, but in this world's version of Manhattan, uh, I think people might actually be happier if somebody saved a dog than a child these days, especially in Manhattan. So, uh, <laughs> yes, that's a dig at you, Manhattan. Um, and, uh, yeah, they, so they get their hero status. Uh, Arthur has, well, completed probably the first phase of the hero's journey. Um, yes. 
and he's accepted, uh, he's accepted that first phase of the hero's journey and he gets a big tick hug again uh yes. which yeah she goes my baby and she hugs him and then our uh, tick goes my baby and hugs Arthur. <laughs> yeah <laughs> Um, and then we get a cool, uh, a little montage, uh, you know, towards the yes. end. And uh, it shows Dot. Um, yeah, well, there was a scene with Dot and her mother where uh, earlier, it was just a quick scene where Dot decides that, you know, she can't sit around and not do anything either. And her mother has no idea what she's talking about. Mm -hmm. So she's going to go back and start patching up the Pyramid Gang again, but she's going to be spying on them. Yeah. And, uh, so she goes back and we got Arthur and Tick walking down the street of their little neighborhood and people are like, yeah, you know, and they're all feeling good about themselves. And then we get the uh, closure part of uh, Miss Lint, you know, just looking smug as hell and the anger is off her face and she fries Ramsey and just feels so good about it. Yeah, she you just know? fries and, his face off. I mean, just yeah. Completely yeah. fries his face off. So she's she's badass, but I I have a feeling um she's gonna you know what she's too likable, <laughs> you know what I mean? I think she's gonna turn around. Uh, I can't wait to see her interacting with Overkill. And Overkill uh, was watching um uh, the news footage of Arthur and the Tick uh, saving the dog, and he's like, mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, calls up they, Arthur, yeah. Yeah, because uh, they kind of left in a bad place, um, yeah. of course. But the but you know he also probably you know lack of a it was a bad pun here. He bugged the tick, so he was probably watching him the whole time. And uh, yeah, so they go into the shop and uh, uh, and yeah, Overkill calls to Arthur out there, and he has figured out uh, what uh, what the, they, they've, they've translated. Part. They've translated the uh, the video, and so he got a better part translation. Part. Yes. Yeah. And so Project Achilles is a suit now that's designed to fight alien elements. aliens. And uh, he's all Arthur, you know, any aliens? Uh, and it's Superion. So we know for sure now. I mean, big mystery. <laughs> the terror is back and he wants to take out Superion. Um, and that's when Arthur gets kidnapped. Yes. And we, you know, and Tick one's out and he's all, no. So we got our superhero no scene, uh, you know, uh, at the end. And um, then it just ends on a cliffhanger. Arthur, <clears throat> his suit's been taken off. He's tied to a chair. He's in his underwear. He has a bag over his head. And uh, <laughs> one of the best, one of the best advertising. The tie-in, uh, yes. Tie-in in in anything ever. Uh, the Terzel, Alexi, cue ominous music. <laughs> Play ominous music, which is and and you hear Alexa say shuffling a playlist for ominous music. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, he rips the bag off of, uh, of Arthur's head and goes cliffhanger, and uh, that's yeah. where it ends. Yeah. That's where it ends. So we didn't get any resolution with, um, you know, it, it. You could tell they wanted to drop everything at once, and they decided, and and this is no secret, they decided last minute to to not do that, which I think was a great idea. Um, and again, I'm going to go on my whole like mini rant here that I think dropping everything at once is actually bad for your show. Um, I'd love to, I'd love to see Netflix will never share their data on this, but like people have already forgotten about the defenders, you know, they're already onto the punisher and it yeah. just be, makes the stuff too disposable. And you put, you're putting way too much money. Um, God dang. Do you know how much those, those Netflix shows cost by the way? Yeah. They're, Quite like a few 10 million and 15 dollars. millions of dollars like uh iron fist was 15 million dollars um so by the way iron fist is uh aside from daredevil the most viewed the most viewed is iron huh. fist which is weird but, is weird. Uh, but of course that is according to netflix all right so companies putting out their own viewer data i would uh, i would pretty much think that's a lie or they're gonna at least lean to the positive okay but uh, yeah, I'm totally against. I mean, yes, for selfish reasons, it's it's uh, it's better for for recapping to do it once a week. But I think it's better for the show too because you have people like us recapping your episode. Um, there's not a lot of people talking yeah. about the tick and doing they're they're doing you know one recap for the entire series. But uh, we're one of the only ones that I can see that is doing it episode by episode. Um, and the thing is, it's getting lost in the shuffle because everybody's watching it at different times. At least if you have that set time or at least a set day to put it out, you give a, you, it gives enough time for the episode to breathe, for people to talk about it, hype it up. Now, um, you can make an argument that if you know your shit is bad, you want to drop it all at once. 
but like Stranger Things, I would not drop it all at once. My God, that 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 is going to be that's going to be the next season is going to be the most watched thing on Netflix. I guarantee it. Probably, um, yeah. And it's going to break every record. And I would string that thing on as much because it'll be in the consciousness. You know, it'll be in the popular consciousness for you know a good couple months, couple three months. And you know, believe me, it would just be better. Uh, um, I think they'll come around on that, and I think people are starting to. I think this is a big sign with the tick not being dropped all at once. I think that's actually good news. So, uh, for 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 you ADHD people out there, it's bad news. But for you know, people who want stuff to last, you know, for one, I can't control myself. Speaking of ADHD, when something drops, I watch it until you know, and then I go to work with three hours sleep. It's bad, <laughs> but. I don't know. That's just how I feel about it, Dennis. I know, yeah, I I, I burned through the tick six episodes. I think that first night that it dropped. So. Oh yeah, yeah, and it's easy to. But I think it would be better for the tick. I mean, I don't think Ash vs Evil Dead would would be the hit that it was if it dropped all at once. Just saying. Also, um, I don't think it lends itself. Ash vs Evil Dead is a little bit different. Um, yeah. I don't think it lends itself to doing that kind of a burn. I mean. It's fun to watch, but I need that one to be broken up a little bit. Yeah, well, and I don't think it helps the the Marvel series at all. Um, you know, especially when when you drop it all, it really exposes those filler episodes, which thankfully Daredevil had none of um, either season. But it, it really hurt Luke Cage and, and Iron Fist. I think that's just my single. That's my opinion. So, <clears throat> excuse me, but. Dude, this thing was great. This is easily going to go down as one of my favorite things of the year, for sure. Uh, if yeah, not the favorite, it was I don't know. It was it's, a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Can't wait to do the next six episodes. We still got tons of mysteries. We 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 don't know who the tick is. Uh, what's the deal between Palo or Paloma? I did it. Uh, Miss Lint and uh, and Janet. Overkill and Janet. Uh, did did she talk about me? Um, what's the deal with Danger Boat? <laughs> Does mm-hmm. he love Overkill? Uh, we're, you know, is, is Arthur going to continue? Is, is Arthur going to survive? Uh, you know, how is superior going to die? It's not a question of if it's a question of how, and what's the relation between the terror and, and superior there's something going on there too. There absolutely. Is it, is a relation. And, uh, you know, I just thought the terror ship reminded me of the ship that superior came in. on. Yeah. They looked yep. a lot alike to me. So, uh, yeah. I, and then what new characters are we going to see? Are we going to yeah. see the man eating cow? Are we going to see, uh, you know, uh, dinosaur Neil or, you know, or deflator are mouse, see deflator mouse, or, uh, Manuel or, or the other tick, the original, the tick versus the tick would be Very. so fun. Yes. Uh, are we going to see Bob the ninja? You know, I mean like this, these are things we need to see, you know, um, it's great that they created new characters, but man, this book has enough original characters that are that are amazing. So, um, also, I mean, I would just love a shout out for Sewer Urchin as well from the cartoon. Oh hell yeah! Oh, Sewer and, Urchin. And, and we've said promise every episode the Mad bi- Bomber who bombs, bombs at, midnight. at midnight. Yeah. So. <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah. So uh, this is such a damn funny show. Um, at this point. I think we could talk about, I think we've finally gotten our prize packages together. Dennis, please present yours. Uh, Before you start, uh, to win the prize, you need to subscribe to our podcast. And people, we really need you. We're not asking you for money. We're just asking for your undying love. And uh, we lost a subscriber this week. I'm going to find you, by the way. (laughs) I'm going to find you. Um, But uh, our subscribers have grown a lot this year. We started the year with 30. We have 369 Wow. Uh, and, uh, you know, my goal is to be at 500 by the end of the year. So, so please subscribe. That puts you, and, and then if you subscribe and comment, it puts you in the running for contests. We do one uh, every recap. We do some kind of prize package. We just gave away uh, Steve Dillon. At the end of every series of recaps. At the, every, at, at the end of every series of recaps. We, for each recap, which is of a show individually, not the recaps individually, we give away a prize. So Preacher, we gave away... Preacher number one signed by Steve Dillon. And now we're going to do our tick prize package. You have to comment and subscribe. And got? I've got the man eating cow. This is from the original tick um, cartoon series. This is from the 1990s Bandai. It's still in the original packaging. It's a little bit yellowed, but still it is there. Adds to the charm. 
Yes. And then we also have, <clears throat> I can grab that here. This is actually from Comic-Con. This is the Tick bag, along with a little straps in the back there. It says, I've got your back, as you can see there. And then also, because I stood in line and went through the maze that they had there, I got a custom shirt with one of the custom tick sayings that says, is it time for punching? That there is awesome. Go. And Dennis is, willing to wait in those, Dennis is willing to wait in those lines. I have no patience for that shit whatsoever. That is awesome, Dennis. Those are great. Now, I have, uh, you know, some okay stuff. So... <laughs> Bert, uh, a spoon bumper sticker and two pieces of art I purchased at San Francisco Comic Con uh, and Arthur and a tick uh, we are also going to throw in Comic Outpost variants we did uh, special Marvel variants for the Comic Outpost that were limited runs half of them got destroyed so these things are actually pretty rare they go for 50 to 60 dollars on the internet there is an Avengers Assemble number one comic outpost variant. There's a Spider Men number one first meeting of Amazing Spider Man and Miles Morales, and there is Amazing Spider Man six six six. Well, you're not going to get the CGC one, sorry, but this is just one of the covers. Uh, they're all custom comic outpost covers. You will get three of those in there. And again, all, all you know, this one is going for like sixty bucks. The other two are going for about twenty thirty. Flip them if you want, make some money. I don't mind at all. Do what you like. Yeah. The man eating cow, uh, it's a rare uh, toy, by the way. Uh, that's going for anywhere from twenty to sixty dollars. Yeah, online. depending on on how you find it. So, yeah, th there's you know, th there's a hundred bucks of stuff worth here it, at the at minimum. Okay, so uh, yeah, so comment, subscribe, and you will be in the running. And we do this. Uh, we it's not uh, you know you could comment. Um, you know, if you say you suck, you're probably not going to win, but you never know. Um, and what we do is we take all the names, we put them in a hat, and we just pick out who commented over the season. And and you know what? You have a really good chance to win. We don't have a ton of comments for this uh, podcast. So, uh, and again, I don't mind. I'll, I'll, do, I'll, I'll come back to do this, and Dennis will come back. This is a passion project. Uh, we yeah. do have podcasts that actually, and recaps that get a lot of views. Go take a look at our American Gods. It's creeping up to 8,000. So, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, we love doing this and please check out our flagship podcast. It's where we talk about everything. The, the news of it's usually every two weeks. We talk about the news. Um, it's uh, the thing we've been doing the longest. I think it's the thing we're the best at, uh, it gets a little salty. It's a little funny, sometimes a little dark, but, uh, it's, it's a lot of fun to do. And it's actually very uh, dark. We start off with deaths. I mean, we start off with deaths pretty much every time. Maybe <laughs> that's why, um, I love the comment we got we got this great comment from this guy. And, um, Sorry, I said this guy. I can't remember, sir. Sorry, I can't remember your name right now. But uh, it was just the best, man. It humbled me. I actually asked the guy to marry me. Uh, but he said, I love it. He said, well, you know, you, you guys are really good in you, your knowledge, but you, you might be kind of old. <laughs> I was like, you didn't I say we're definitely old. Basically, we're definitely you said, old. I appreciate that you're talking about old school, new school kind of stuff. And he goes, and it's probably because, you, you know, I appreciate I'm at the age where you guys are reading the same stuff that I was reading at. at yeah. And, and he, was, at the talk, same like he was talking about the ADHD kids and uh, he's right. We're not going to be doing, I mean, we'll do reaction videos once in a while, but we're not going to be um, sounding wacky and, you know, going whoa and reacting like that all the time. That's not going to happen. I mean, you'll get some pretty immature nerd rage from me once in a while, but uh, okay. Yeah, for me too. I'm, yeah. I'm not believe beyond that so we're not beyond that so please check out a podcast i know i'm spending a lot of time pumping but you know i need to do that once in a while and our geek credit is we are former comic book retailers okay yes. i own the comic outpost in san francisco for 10 years i've been collecting comics since i was five i've been a nerd since i was born dennis has uh, been reading comics the same amount of, we're, all, we're pretty much the same age he's been reading them the same amount of time he owned a comic book store in davis california yep four and, color comics uh, yeah four color comics and we uh you know we we love this stuff so and we appreciate you watching so uh dennis anything else don't let the door hit your ass on the way out america may the small folk sing songs of your greatness and spoon, spoon. which we didn't get hopefully next we year. still haven't no we haven't we haven't gotten a catchphrase bye everybody bye you have been listening to a nerd
Nerd Rotic Podcast. Please subscribe.